out-of-control IRS, out-of-control medical costs. Health care here in the U.S. carrying a heftier price tag than, well, just about anywhere else in the world, even for common and routine procedures, or especially for common and routine procedures. Joining me now, Dr. Steve Reisman, director of the New York Cardiac Center. Dr. Steve, thanks for coming back. It's Thank always you. so good to see you. Good. Now, I... I I was blown away by how different the costs are here compared to other developed countries. And let me give folks just one example here. The colonoscopy, the average U.S. price right now, about $1,100. Switzerland offers it about half that price. And you can walk through a myriad of different kinds of procedures, scanning, surgeries. And what you find over and over again is the U.S. is more expensive. What do you say? The U.S. is more expensive, I think, because of the type of system we have. We're based on a fee-for-service system, so there's incentive to do more testing. In many of these other countries, for instance, in Singapore and Israel, there's a, a, for, there's a single-payer system for some of the, you know, Medicare and Medicaid-type patients that people can buy a supplement to get private insurance if they want. But because of the fee-for-service system, there is an incentive to do more types of testing and more see, see that, the doctor definitely. more. Definitely. So more expensive testing. In fact, I understand that there's a cheaper test than the colonoscopy that could be used, but people just don't use it anymore. And it's in part because we get into this habit of asking for the expensive test out there. Now, I read something interesting when I was researching this segment that often doctors don't even know the price of what they're prescribing in terms of procedures or, or drugs. It's not really your job, is it? Well, you know, in your own practice, you should know what your test costs for patients coming. But when you send patients for a test, you frequently don't know the cost of those tests. Because you're sending them out of your you're office. You're sending out of your office. And one of the big problems is if you send them to a hospital-based setting, frequently the costs are two to three times higher. One of the big unknowns that people aren't aware of is the cost of going to a hospital to get a test. Sometimes the same exact test can be two or three times the cost of a private practice setting. Wow. Okay. Let me give folks another example because I'm serious about this. Take a look at a hip replacement. In the U.S., over $40,000 is the average price. In Spain, it's $7,700. I mean, that kind of gap is really telling. You know, with Obamacare, we were promised that costs would come down, but nothing seems to be getting at costs in this country. I don't think Obamacare is going to really get at costs. I think that, that's a big issue. I think there needs to be a major restructuring of how the health care system works, and nobody's willing to take that on. And one of the problems is the lobbying efforts by the hospitals, by the right. pharmaceutical companies, uh, by those type of organizations that spend much more money lobbying than other, other major industrial groups. And we really have to look at that. Look at what the CEOs of some of these hospitals get. Tremendous salaries. These quote-unquote nonprofit hospitals are really not nonprofit anymore. They're big profit machines, advertising on television, advertising in the newspapers. There's a big profit motive, and uh, they're buying up doctors' practices and trying to consolidate. Well, you know, if we could say we're getting better care for the number of dollars we spend, it might make sense. But the reality is when you look at outcomes, often the outcomes are not better. So I think we have to find a better way to do all this. Dr. Reisman, thanks for coming on. Thanks for Always having me. Always good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much.